Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we'll be going over how to back up your computer with Back in Time. So before we get started, you're gonna have to have the application installed. So please check the article that I wrote in the description of this video, and it'll go over and show you how to install it. Once you've got it installed, you can go ahead and open up the application menu on your computer and look for Back in Time. And uh, open that up. Now, in this video, we will be covering how to do simple backups from your home folder. We're not gonna be doing an entire massive system backup. If you wanna do a huge system backup, you're gonna to have to go through that on your own. Most people shouldn't be doing a full system backup out of the root folder and all of that. That stuff really shouldn't be touched. You should be focusing only on your system, on the stuff on your system that's in your home folder. So to start off, you're gonna to need to set where you wanna save your snapshots. So click this folder icon here and uh, find an area you'd like to save your snapshots. In our case, I'm gonna put it in snapshots in this folder. Now it turns out I didn't create that folder, so first I have to do that and then I can click choose. From here I can go to include and I can include the folder that I want to back up. In this case, I want my home folder backed up. Then I go to exclude and I add the snapshot directory. Now this one will exclude my snapshot directory, so it's not gonna be creating repeated backups of our backups. And uh, we can also go through the settings here. If you want to customize this, I'm gonna leave it at the defaults, but if you'd like to customize how long the backups should be around, you could set it to weeks if you want, or years. There's also other options and uh, expert options. So once you've got all of that stuff you'd like to customize, you can turn on schedule if you'd like. I don't wanna set up scheduling. So uh, I'm gonna click the okay button because everything looks good to me. From there, back in time, we'll open up a new window. And this window shows us our backup folder is here. We can right click our snapshot button, sorry, we can click on Snapshot and click Take Snapshot. This will quickly go ahead and set up a backup. And we can see our backup is right here. And if we open up the File Manager, we can go to Snapshots and we can see our back in time stuff is right in here and everything is in this folder. Everything is safe and secure. If we want to restore a snapshot from back in time, just click the Restore and delete new files. So restore and delete new files basically means you can restore directly from the snapshot you created and delete the new ones that have been created since the snapshot. Now this is an excellent feature, especially if maybe you lost some stuff and you don't really care about the new stuff. You can also just do restore and restore to, but this one in my opinion is the best one to go with. So you click the restore, read the question that it says, and the question says, are you sure you want to remove all new newer files from your original folder? Then you click the yes button. It will delete all of the stuff that's there and it will restore everything, including the permissions. And we can go through and look at the list here that it made. Then we can click close and our backup is restored. And it's that easy and you can go through and you can change the settings once again. If you want to add more folders, maybe you want to add a specific directory or file. You can go through and do that, but that's how you create a basic system backup of your home folder with Back in Time on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Derek, and I will see you in the next video.